I do have to say, I like the draft coming out from old G. Personally, uh, I saw like, you know, the Beastmaster again. Oh, like, yeah, they're absolutely being as efficient as possible. We do see a smoke play coming out from the side of Puck Champ because they need this jungle. They can't afford to be giving up all this real estate at under 10 minutes into the game. That just feels awful. Top lane, though, they see low skill. They'll go use the cookie over on the centaur. Path of Dawn Breaker ulti in, but on the back lines, they're trying to take care of Thompson. It looks like they're going to be able to do it as now Seb out of mana. He does have himself a wand, but I don't think he's going to be able to survive this. So he will end up dying with a full rotation coming out from the side of Puck Champ. Oh, bottom there. Gotta yeah. try and kill off. They're pincering hard on the Dawnbreaker. They get the lift off. She's not going to be able to use that hammer to get away. So not only do they get themselves a nice kill, they're also going to be able to take these treants and defend their tower down He's here. trying to be so careful. They even did a scan off to the side because they're like, they're not showing, but I feel like they're up here. Another scan came out. Uh oh, bottom lane. There's no trees to hide around. Especially when they get the lift right back. And that is a kill for Thompson. So this is a good opportunity opportunity if OG felt like they wanted to, you know, get aggressive because there's no save potentially coming out from the side of Puck Champ. He's that. honestly so lucky that they didn't, like, get his courier too because there'd be nothing worse than losing that BKB timing. They see low skill kit track. That poke away just a little bit. Gets the psionic traps. Look at how far Thompson is back here. Just throwing out the hits on the Sweden Strike. Look at the global science. I've already used the roar, but Rezo, he will end up dying because the rest of the team is very, very split up. Seb over here too, not looking too great. They've already lost low skill. So Seb going to try to hop down to the bottom. He sees Thompson. Can they turn around? Can they get the kill over on the lace? They can, but they will end up losing Thompson. And they'll lose Sweden strong, too. They need to use the Dawnbreaker ulti and the silence uh, to get these supports down. Alright, well, they're gonna open up. They found Thompson. They found Sam BKB from low skill trying to finish off Thompson. Trying to get there just enough cleverly. As you can see, Laura jumps onto the back lines. They've already lost Seb. They finally get Thompson. They'll be able to take down Kit Track. The roar gets used from Rezo as he snaps up the regen. And it looks like the Nature's Prophet is gonna be able to teleport as well. They really want this kill, though. Can they get there fast enough? Yes, they can. Four dead on the side of OG. Uh, I mean, you can already see that no one says, all right, if you're going to go for Roche, then I'm going to take your Rex. You've got no one here to deal with me. Ooh. And it's not the fastest Roche right now, despite, you know, you do have the TA with the death, so she's got the Melt Strike. And look at this. The Snapfire Kiss is raining down. They're going to use the Global Silas to try to ensure that they can get this Roche. And they do manage it, but now they're all stuck inside the pit as Lace just takes all these clicks from Thompson. <laughs> As well with they no are one. trying to get over there, but looks like Lornoff's going to be able to escape at the eight seconds. Not lose it. Big sweaty. Drop another yes. trap in. They've already got the hawk over on the side. That's about to time out. You put some plays over onto uh, Kidaro here. They get the lift. They've got the vision. There's just no silencer. And this Roche is up and running. But you can see Lorna, he dives into the back lane. He wants to get rid of Kit Track as fast as possible. And it looks like he's going to be able to do that. Global Silence is going to get used. A nice Dawnbreaker ulti. Followed up with the Starfisher. Oh my goodness. Thompson getting yo-yoed around. They have to finish him up. And he's still alive during all this. Well, Lorna is getting kicked down. They'll end up losing life. Somehow Thompson alive during all of that. As they just start running over at the side of Puck Champ. Yeah, that yo-yoing moment. Oh my god, they're still going too. They want low skill. Low skill gonna have to use his BKB and teleport away because it's just too dangerous to try to continue to run. It was definitely interesting because it looked fairly decent going in, but because they couldn't finish off tops and it felt like just a lot of, of just concern. He's a near over onto low skill. He doesn't have that BKB available. He's already using Kadaro. Just trying to run away from tops and he's just blinking away out of his force forward. Going in for a little more here as low skill sitting behind him doesn't even notice he's got his eyes just so focused on life they've already taken that low skill couple more clicks this is feeling like old g very very confident see a slight coming out here from lord after gonna go for that solar guard they'll finally be able to take down Kent track but their eyes are because over on top so they're trying to close the gap a roar from Rezo onto the back lines onto lace it's looking like they're gonna lose the dawn breaker sweet and strong drops in the tree seb hops forward gets the kill and this is looking like the end yeah, I think that's going to be all she wrote. They do have two more buybacks, but with TA dead without buyback here, that is looking rough. And the, the, the real story here is that both Hobson and Nolan have been so hard to bring down every single fight. They're going to go in. They're buying back. <laughs> they're trying. They might as well, right? There's the refresh of the Wanderers. Uh, jump onto the back lines. I want to know that's Thompson. And they just can't decide who they want to focus. Now, poor Lace is just not going to be able to do much of anything here. 
mob. PA though is a good hero against Enigma. She can kill the Eidolons quite easily. And I'm telling you, the buffed PA with 400 uh, break range on Blur, it makes a big difference. Well, you As you left for the runes, top resolution is alone, gets sprouted into the Bramble Maze, body blocks. I don't think they have quite enough unless they decide to go for the, uh, the teleport here. The follow up is here though with Sab and Thompson. Battle Realm giving them just a little bit more time, but don't really have anything to to quite save himself, I think, here. Yeah, no, drops the Bramble Maze, it's too late. That rotation was so value because now he can also buy the Mimir Hammer while he's up here. His courier well, teleport come down here from Seb. Wants to clear up the bottom wave, but a lot of people just playing on the side of Puck Champ. <laughs> Might as well be up there. Like, the rest of the team has shifted a bit. Again, is that, uh, there's a lot of ground targeted stuff, so... Not going to be able to survive it using that Shadow Realm. Yeah, trying to stay alive a little bit longer at least, but uh, he does go down and no one can get his first uh, kill in the game here. Going for a Deso build first, he has the double hammer, just needs the Blightstone Bolt as well. Enigma in trouble. Yeah, that's looking like a dead Enigma, nothing much that they can really do about this. Try to stay alive a little bit longer using the mech, but we'll end up dying and this tower belongs to the side of old G. It feels a little bit like they gave away too many kills. Like, Normally, yeah, I think you go for the Roche. If somebody wanders in your path, obviously you murder them, but mm -hmm. now's the time. That is uh, some very good luck. Do they have one point exhort? They don't, but he's very close to it. He could go one point exhort and have the Alexi. Oh, they're smoked up though. They're looking for the opening. Sweetenstrong jumping at the toss up, dropping the static storm. Immediately, Sweetenstrong just disappears. This does tops it. RP's gonna get used. Seb, though, he's ticking down too much damage. The black hole will get used on top of everything else. Won't manage to cancel it out. Rezo not sitting with much mana left. No one also taking so much damage here. Can they finish him off? It's looking like they'll be able to do it as they kill Rezo. They kill no one. And only Kit Track is able to walk away. I think he was close enough where. Track on the vision. Yeah. Don't look now, but they found themselves uh, a little disruptor over here. So Kit Track is immediately ripped apart. Rezo popping the mech. Trying to help out. They need to get the catch. They need to get there a little bit closer, a little bit faster. And they just don't quite have a Thompson, though. We'll go in, throw out the tornado. Plus the Mortimer's Kiss. It's not looking good now for Kadaro Lace. Making his way over. It's going to take a little bit of damage, but they still managed to find themselves resolution. Because he did have to hold still for a little bit to get all of that ultimate. I haven't seen, uh, we've only seen the one black hole. Okay, they're gonna toss back over to no one with the terrorize. Can they lock her down for long enough though? There's the Greaves coming into play. Some more damage being dumped out here by the little Shrek. That is gonna be the Aegis. They'll be able to get something out of this. She's coming back up again. They need to be careful thinking about looking for the stomp, but there it is, a jump forward from that. Who oh, the fan of knives as well. Push them away. Sweden strong here, no mana left. Do they go for the dive? Those are the questions. They do go for a little bit of a glimpse. Lace getting into position, still holding onto the black hole. We'll use those Guardian Greaves. Uh -oh. Get hit with a scatter blast where we were seeing teams that were going for this rush are they ahead enough where they can afford to do this without it i mean when you get little pickoffs and kills like this probably but over on the back line another rp comes off they'll just rip our lord off the loose sweet and strong somehow here kadaro nope he is gonna get chased down and that is three dead on the side of puck champ and he's completely correct the smoke is coming here from uh puck champ well, the Roche is up too. Look that is, uh, ooh, ooh, Look okay. He does indeed. There's no BKB available here for Loska. Sub also making his way over, looking for this opening. Go throw down that meatball. Go right into the tree lines. You are not safe in the trees, my friend. Not against this dynamic duo. Ah, uh, so close. BKB just now coming off cooldown, but didn't have it in time. And against a Quaswex Invoker with a Meteor Hammer and a Witchblade, you are not happy when you cannot dispel things. Because they you do have, have a gem on okay. resolution. Those skills will go and find themselves the Nature's Prophet. Looks like Kit Track, though. Oh, it looks like he's going to survive because no one is here. He jumps and the pushback is a special delivery from Seth. He says, I heard that you like to kill Dark Willows. And we've got one right over here. No problem. The dagger comes in. Even she gets stunned up by the cursed crown still the phantom assassin continues to kill not even together like look at this no one's just hitting the tower sweet strong's like oh, i don't think i can do this by myself they'll get a toss back okay low skills here they're doing a decent amount of damage but she's got the satanic and the bkb so they're gonna continue to try to hit but it's being stuck in the corner now will end up falling lace getting into position starts a black hole a little bit early but he definitely wants to make sure that they can get rid of this phantom assassin and they will indeed be able to do it this time around because of a dive Oh, Kadaro. I mean, Lace is here. So is the... Ooh, oh, the Lord off immediately jumped in. But there it is. There's the black hole. Over on to Kitchak. Over on to no one. They're not going to be able to get him out in time. 
it's the follow up though seven with a great rp they absolutely pop here try to follow up with some more damage now one yes they managed to get the kill but now lord he's getting clicked down here by resolution he wasn't expecting the damage like you said as low skill looks like he just wants to teleport the heck out wow he gets out. They bought back over on the PA. Sweet and strong running for his life now. Is going to get just dragged back here by seven. Other couple clicks and they just push him right through. Buyback was used by PA, so she's coming back to push as well here. They only have buyback on Enigma, and that's not really a useful buyback when you don't have ulti, so this could be disaster for them. Could be it. Most yeah. needs to get out of there, and he needs to get out of there fast. He stops. They have the vision. They jump forward over onto low skill. They just rip him apart. Does have buyback, but that was it. I don't know. <laughs> Poor guy. Maybe thinking he was a little bit sick. Uh, hmm. Look at this right, yeah. right through the back door. Yeah, she shreds. Plus she is 322 so damage when he has alacrity on him there. Nice. She goes. No black hole for another 50. This is looking very scary now for Puckchamp. They are very reliant on that. Again, the blink forward air coming out from Sweden Strong. He's hoping that he can get tossed back, but he's not able to do it fast enough. So he's going to be able to go get pushed out here and jump back in the toss back. He's gone very deep here over onto no one. Can they finish him off? Yes, that's going to be an Aegis. Can they get them the second time, though, is the question. The meatballs get dropped. They've got the first crowd out to the back lines. So from step, trying to keep him alive, trying to get the save. We'll be able to skewer forward. The BKB is coming out now. The buybacks will come out as well. As you can see, Seb clicking away over here. Going to be able to take down the left track. Low still running for his life now. Oh my god, the lifesteal when you triple daggers with Satanic on it, all the HP comes back immediately if there. They can find this opening if they can get the position. It is so hard though. Snap first is doing Sweet it. Sweet and songs, toss back over onto Seb. There's force out the BKB. Sweet and strong does get pushed forward into the middle of everyone, so he is going to end up dying. And this is an open age. Kit track a little bit off the mark here with that storm. Lay still alive. He pops the BKB, but he can't get in there. It's looking real rough right now. Thompson's got like he gets Kidaro. Low skill has the BKB. He's clicking away over here on Thompson, but this ancient. Yeah, it's they need to point. defend it. I don't think they can. And they go for this play, Kit Trap. The jump forward here from Seb pushes them out into just everyone over on the side of Old G. I think that's the end. There's the GG. It looks like Old G, they're not put out to pasture yet. No. They're gonna keep on fighting.